there's a really good feeling in the school right now. They've been a fantastic set of students just the year in terms of, they haven't been shy in coming forward, which is what I've liked about them. And I think that um, they've really been involved in the process this year. Poss possibly more than any other student cohort I've ever worked with. And, uh, and I think that's made for a really good feeling across the, the whole year. I think they're probably one of the most engaged group we've ever come across. Incredibly forthcoming with ideas and just really excited overall, I would say. Favourite bit about KLC? The people. Definitely the people. The challenges have been quite tough at times and unless you'd had the support of the, of the groups of people around you, including the tutors, but also mainly your peers, because all of you are doing it from scratch. And I think unless you have that sort of collaborative environment, it's really hard for you to find a way through it. Well, I had Sam as a mentor, and I don't think I could have had anyone better. She has been fantastic and has spent most of her time being exceptionally caring and patient. And Rachel, I had her for the second project and third project, and she was brilliant. Nurturing is probably a good word, so she'll take what you say, and then help you to find a better route of saying it. Yeah, I think they've been really good with sort of pushing us in, especially conceptually, like pushing our creative side and trying to get the most out of us. Yeah, and how, um, like, it's nice to all, they're kind of passing on their knowledge to you, so it's nice to have had a range of people as well to get that from. It's been nice to have people from the industry come in and help us, like the sports tutors, um, and have sort of, uh, hear about their, their first-hand experience in the industry. And people that have done the course before, because a lot of them were in our shoes at one point, so that's quite interesting. It was really incredible to see so many different approaches to design. Um, every person has this unique approach to doing things. Everyone is creative and innovative in their own way. With the blended learning qualification, because it's exactly the same as the full-time students, uh, the, the opportunities are exactly the same as well. So uh, the career service that we provide is the same, um, the portfolio assistance is the same, and then likewise the, the job opportunities after that are, are exactly the same on both of the courses. Once you leave KLC with a diploma qualification, that opens the doors to you, whatever method of study you take. Um, in the beginning, I think I was most afraid of technical drawings and finding out how everything works, but like, even when we started the first project, I was really comfortable with it. It's, it turned out to be much easier than what I expected. When we started learning Photoshop, I was convinced I would never be able to master it, but actually, again, keep practicing throughout the year and for final project, I felt very in control of the program and how I could manipulate it to achieve the visuals that I wanted to. The way they would su um, support but challenge you, I think that will stick with me. You know, coming up with an answer fairly quickly sometimes, I don't think that was, that was ever going to pass muster. So um, yeah, I remember quite a few times having some challenges with thinking I've got the idea, it's brilliant, I'm going to go with it, and then actually having it talked and walked through with some of the lecturers and going, well, why don't you take that tack? Why don't you try something? And you'd come out oh. and you'd feel like you're going back to the drawing board, but actually what they were doing was pushing you to evaluate, to constantly critically mm -hmm. analyse what you were trying to do. And they were right, you know, first time out, it's not a lazy option, but it's the first thing you can think of. Therefore, you've not really evolved it. So for me personally, again, I think the lecturers have been phenomenal in how they get us up that hill in the nine months. I, I don't know how they do it, to be honest. I think that we really lucked out with our studio because we just had a really great dynamic in terms of people helping each other and being supportive and just it has really been a team environment. Um, again, totally diverse ages, people from different backgrounds, so it's been really nice. People from different places in the world um, and often, or I'd say most of the people in the studio are people that I wouldn't encounter normally, so it's been nice that we've all been brought together. Working in a kind of collaborative environment, particularly on in the group project on Project Four, um, I think it's actually really interesting how people have brought different experience 
to kind of design problems. So, you know, maybe not everyone's come from a design background, but, you know, we had a lawyer in our group and that was actually great for organisational and, you know, a project manager, which actually made our project really, I think, successful in the end. So I think no matter what, everyone had something to bring. We've got people that are very um, proactive. They've got amazing work experience and life experience. Um, and they know how to work hard. I think the resounding message from so many students after their year here or nine months here is I have never worked this hard in my life. And to get an employee like that, um, you'd have to count your lucky stars. I loved fashion before, but I didn't really think about how you can accumulate so many different textiles into one space and how even doing sort of a very simple palette but with different textures, how much that can affect your design. So for me, discovering new textiles and finding ways of utilising them maybe differently than what you expect has been a real challenge. Some people are more practical in nature, a lot of other people are more creative in nature and I think that's, that's the thing that's of key importance because people go to different jobs for different reasons. I think we still teach people how to do stuff but in a short period of time it's up to them to take what we've taught them and make it their own and um, use it to their best advantage. Working in a studio has been, been great. It's been really fun to kind of bounce ideas off people. Um, you kind of you always feel like you push yourself to the next step if there's someone sitting beside you having done something amazing um, and seeing how different people approach the same problem. Particularly in the final project where we've had you know, the same clients, same brief, but people have come up with hugely different ideas, which has been really interesting to see. Final project's always exciting because you see the students have blossomed from only a short period ago and then all of a sudden they're realising they're doing a hundred things more than they thought they'd be able to do. Um, and I think the group project was really good. There was some really, really exciting um, work coming out of it and I, it seemed to be a really buoyant mood after that project. A lot of students felt really happy. You'd be naive to think that this is a really simple course. And I think all of us, even though we were aware it's going to be a lot of work, had no idea. Um, and like I said, if you're with a good group, it makes it so much easier. But actually, when we look around final exhibition and you see everyone's work, and we've also got all our sketchbooks from first term and second term up, and you, do, you, you can never believe the transition. Like, there are elements that you like from each project, and there's also elements you can't stand from each project. But there's one thing you can't argue with, and that is how far you've actually come. And I think the range of skills that you've learnt by the end is kind of godsmacking. And I think at least everyone has one, two, maybe ten pieces of work that they are really, really proud of. And I think that that's the overwhelming thing that I've learnt from KLC is that you are constantly improving and that you shouldn't give yourself such a hard time at the beginning because you will get there. <laughs> Overall, I think we've got a fantastic bunch of students going out into the industry. They are very enthusiastic. They've learnt, their learning curve over the year has just been enormous. And you can really see that grow in the third term as well as their confidence, their portfolio growing and all of the skills coming together. So I think it's really exciting. I think that this year was really intense and people outside the course don't really understand what it's like but people who are actually doing it like we've all been through the same thing and yeah so I think we're um, I think we'll all be in touch after the course. Oh definitely I mean these are kind of the friends that you build in a year will be friends for life especially as you go into a, an industry which is completely varied but actually quite tight-knit and it's great to have those contacts and know that when we all start our jobs that you know if you have a quick question you can fire off an email to the group and somebody will know the answer. It's been you know such an amazing time here. I wouldn't be grinning like this had I not enjoyed it. I'll probably phone you two weeks into the summer holidays and say can I just come and make the tea? <laughs>